Hier is Radio Nederland, Wereldomroep in Hilversum. Dit is Dick Klees. In de uitzending van vanavond een optreden van de Dutch Swing College Band onder leiding van Peter Schilpenwoord. This is Neville Gray from Radio Nederland, the Dutch World Broadcasting System in Hilversum, Holland. We present the world famous Dutch Swing College Band under the direction of Peter Schilpenwoord. In de Radio Nederland, Wereldomroep die Hilversum. We gaan naar het jaar in de Rijanti Titus, de gaan banga mijn persen bakken, dan mijn gondang aan de skalian, en toen mijn ikmati, dan mijn jaksikan. Per mijn aan orkestke naam aan de Rijanti Griblanda, de Dutch Wing College Band, Pimpinan Peter Schilperoort. Desde los estudios de Radio Nederland, emisora internacional holandesa, Maruja Sura se complace en presentar a la famosa banda de los estudiantes holandeses, dirigida por Peter Schilperoort. Mabwana na mabibi tunakaribisheni kwa nasikati ya kipindi chetu kutoka Radio Nederland shirika la udachi la matangazo kwa ulimwengu mwenye kuendesha kipindi hichi atakuwa ni Peter Scherprod 
Hi, I'm Robert Haslack of the Dutch World Broadcasting System in Hilversum, Holland, Radio Nederland. Today we present the world-famous Dutch Swing College Band under the direction of Peter Schilperod. This is Radio Nederland, the Dutch World Broadcasting System in Hilversum, Holland. Hello, I'm Veronica Wilson, and today I'd like to present the world-famous Dutch Swing College Band, who are giving a live performance under their leader, Peter Skilperol. <laughs> began really uh, during the last years of the war. Jazz was banned in Holland by the Germans and we had an underground music school. We were teaching young people to listen to jazz and to play jazz. And the teachers of the school, some of the teachers, formed a little band and we practiced, also, of course, underground, uh, the, the American jazz music and the latest songs. And uh, on the day of liberation we were ready and started to play. That's the way it started. First a quartet, and a few weeks later, a seven-piece band. And that was the birth of the DSA? Yes. You uh, had plenty of uh, time to rehearse in those days, especially since uh, jazz was banned, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. 
Um, did you immediately start uh, with the uh, engagements, uh, or did you have to, first of all, build yourselves up in terms of publicity and, and reputation? I had already a contract that started on the Day of Liberation. I still have it somewhere. It's mentioned that the contract starts on the day that Holland officially was declared as liberated. Yeah, yeah. There was not a, a real date mentioned. And then we played three weeks with the quartet in The Hague, in a little cafe, but beautiful weather on the street. And uh, then we went to Apeldoorn to the Canadian forces, and we played for six months in a club there. And uh, during the six months, we did radio broadcast for the CFRS, the Canadian Forces Radio Service, and that built already the name of the band over, over the country. So when we stopped this contract in Apeldoorn, we had right away lots of work all over Holland. And you've never stopped working since. No, that's right. Perfection, talent, enthusiasm, tenacity, and sound business sense. Those are the characteristics of the Dutch Swing College Band's successful career over the past 30 years. The central figure is Peter Schilpoort, who received a royal award after he'd led the band for 25 years. Here, he's playing on one of his many guitars, probably the instrument that once belonged to blues singer Big Bill Brunzi. Over the years, millions of records have been sold all over the world, featuring the characteristic two clarinet sound of the Dutch Swing College Band. We have a special sound, and that's uh, already from 1948, when I started to use many times two clarinets instead of one. Mm -hmm. And especially in the arrangements and the clarinets playing together, you get a special sound. I can't describe that in words. You have this, to hear the music. Yeah. But did you uh, fall across this idea by accident, or was it on purpose? On purpose, yes. You knew what you were going yeah, to do. Yeah. And you've retained the sound ever since. Yes, but uh, since then I doubled on much more instruments uh, last time. I have now soprano sax, alto sax, tenor sax, baritone sax, and my second clarinet player is doubling on many saxes too, so we can make all fine combinations. Good physical condition and breathing technique are essential, especially to wind players. Bert de Kort, a real sportsman, starts the day with an hour of exercises. The cornetist's favorite sports are hockey and tennis. And if he wanted, he could pursue a career in education. He's a qualified teacher of English.
Zes jaar tijd, Gijs. Het is schijnt toch te weinig te zijn. Als we dus, uh, volgende maand in Duitsland op toernooi gaan, dus daar nog gaan vasten. En met jou eens uh, van trimmen. Hè? Ja, trimpakje kopen. Dat zegt het ook. <lacht> Next to music, guitar and banjo player Jaap van Kempen enjoys taking photographs of beautiful women. Jaap is the successor of Ari Lichhardt, who got weary of the life on the move and now looks after the band's business interests in Holland. Now, even recht here. Even your chin on your hand. Yeah. Like any true Dutchman, trombonist Dick Kart feels in his element near the water, fishing, waiting for the float to move. This is his favorite relaxation after night concerts and before strenuous radio appearances. Thank you. 
Producing musical arrangements is a job in itself. You must adapt a given composition to the available instruments so that you get an attractive sound, and this you must then put down in the score. Bob Carper, who plays the clarinet and saxophone, combines business with pleasure when he turns out musical arrangements. En dan nu een solo gespeeld door onze bassist Henk Bos van der Agenstein. Eigen compositie van hem, zeer origineel. Allerlei 
Leuke trucs op die bas. Dingen die een ander er niet op kan. Hij speelt de gitaar op, triangel, vliegtuig, motor, zaaghamer en weet ik wat allemaal nog niet meer. U zult het dadelijk wel horen in een stukje dat hij zeer passend heeft genoemd. Don't ask me. he needs for his hobby, bass player Henk Boss van Drakenstein has made himself. His hands are constantly busy, both when he's on the job and in his spare time. Musically, he forms a close unit with drummer Hoob Janssen, but to the other members of the band too, he's a highly appreciated colleague, not least because of his clever punning and colourful humour.
Janssen, tall left-handed drummer, enjoys the family life in between busy concert tours. His talent and expertise are enhanced by a healthy showiness which puts him in a central position in the band. Hub Janssen is, in many ways, a source of inspiration for his colleagues, musically, but also because of his warm manner. What is a project thing? It's a stove. In the old days, it wasn't so easy. Father Hoob tells his son how he started, by practicing on a foot stove. His son is more privileged. He started out straight away on the real thing. But they both have to keep quiet at times because of the neighbors. Thank you. 